going to show you how to make the t-shirt from the Dress Up Tony doll set and for that I'm going to be using my 5x7 hoop wash away stabiliser, I've got matching bobbin and thread masking tape, my squizzers and my batting and fabrics cut to size I've also got a piece of ribbon and that's going to be what I'm going to use for attaching the clothing to Tony hoop your wash away stabiliser and I'm going to pin around the edge that helps to keep it taut in the hoop and stops it pulling down between the two hoop pieces and you're just going to push it, put your pin on top of the hoop push it through, bring it back round and back through the stabiliser and that should sit nice and flush on the top of your hoop You're now going to pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number one and that's going to give you your placement outline. I'm going to place my ribbon over where the waist would be, face up, and I'm just going to tape it in place so that it can't move during stitching. And I'm going to do the same at the top on the shoulders. So I've uh, coiled up my ribbon and I've just left two ends and I'm going to place those here at the shoulders Oops. I'm going to have them going slightly towards the neck so that uh, when it comes to tying it it makes it smoother and the same for the other side here Oops, not too close okay next you're going to lay down your batting on top and tape it in place you can now pop that back into your machine and stitch round number two and that's going to secure everything in place you're now going to trim up the excess batting from around your stitch line take care not to cut your ribbon tails off if you're using ribbon that is We could have added the backing with the batting but I haven't, it doesn't matter because it's going to go on now so place your front, no, turn your hoop over sorry place your backing fabric over the t-shirt outline and tape it in place turn it back and place your front fabric over the t-shirt and tape that in place too you can now pop that into your machine and stitch round number three and that's going to secure both fabrics if you're going to add the stripe fabric across Tony's t-shirt then you're now going to stitch colour number four and that's going to give you your placement outline I appreciate that you're not going to be able to see the outline very well so I hope that you can now it's there and there so I'm now going to place my fabric over this area here and tape it down you can now pop that into your machine and stitch round number five you're now going to trim up all the excess fabric from both the front and the back of the hoop so I'm going to start off at the back turning it over and now I'm just going to cut close to the stitch line
you'll want to load a matching bobbin and thread into your machine now because the next round number six is going to zigzag all the raw edges and then do the satin stitch finish around them as well you can now remove all the tape from your hoop then you're going to free your clothing so you're going to turn your hoop over push your scissors into the stabilizer and then just trim around the edge don't worry too much about any excess because we're going to deal with that in a minute with some warm water be careful that you don't cut your ribbon pieces off We're now going to dissolve all the remaining excess stabiliser. So I've got warm water and a cotton bud. And I'm just going to run it around the edge. I'm just going to cut that in two. And we've now got our t-shirt so I'm just going to get my Tony doll and place it over the front turn him over now if you followed my instructions in my video you will find that you've got flesh color around here now I wanted mine kind of reversible so I just took a sharpie pen and I colored in this side uh, of the stitching around the jaw here. So I'm now going to tie my ribbons up and trim them to size. Same for the waist. And there's Tony's clothing being held nice and firmly in place. I'm going to show you another doll that I did and I used a slightly different method but I will explain it to you and these trousers are held on with velcro and they just pull off. What I did is I used heat and bond rather than a backing fabric on the back of my um, hoop because that gives you nice uh, loopy fabric for the velcro to hook into I used extra wide I think it was about four inches wide of the hook side of the velcro um, and you can use it on both bits I only had a piece that I was recycling so I didn't put it on the t-shirt as well but in place of the front shorts material and you, you could do the same on the t-shirt as well here um, I placed my hooks the hook part of my um, velcro and then I laid two layers of uh, stabilizer over the top so that when it um, stitched the hooks of the velcro weren't poking through the stitch line and that worked really really well and it holds really well as well so there's loads of methods that you can use. You could also sew little pieces of um, Velcro onto the clothing and onto his body by hand. So you've got plenty of choice. I will include the link to Creative Kiwi's blog for the dolls, which shows how um, many of their customers have attached the clothing. I hope you enjoyed this stitch along. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos as they're published. Do pop along to Creative Kiwi's Facebook group. There's lots of ideas, help and support there for everybody. And thank you very much for joining me.